I got something interesting delivered to my home today. And I thought I would do an unboxing video to show you what it is. Well, actually, it's, it's, it's a bag. And I've already looked at it. But anyway, I thought I would do an unbagging video to show you what is in this bag. On the front, it says, United, we fight the virus. So this is from the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. The government, the government has sent out these care packages. Uh, I thought it would be rather interesting to have a look uh, at what we get. All right, wow, okay. So I have got, first of all here, a little flyer. It says, fighting COVID-19 info station. Da, 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 da. Virus testing is essential for identifying COVID-19 cases. So this leaflet has got a lot of languages on the bottom, which is rather splendid. Hindi, Nepali, Urdu, Thai, Bahasa, Indonesia, Tagalog, Sinhala, Bengali, and Vietnamese. So very nice. You can read it in all sorts of different languages. There is also this little letter from the anti epidemic team of the Hong Kong government. It's in both Chinese and English. It says, Dear fellow citizens, in our fight against COVID-19 over the past two years or so, we have together overcome four waves of the epidemic, one after the other. The fifth wave of the epidemic has hit us fiercely in recent months, but hopefully we are seeing the arrival of dawn. I hope so too. With your cooperation and support, Hong Kong will be able to ride out the storm and the epidemic will soon stabilize, allowing society to gradually to resume normal operation and just being a grammar pedant uh, it then goes on to um, thank the uh, central government for um, the central government's help um, and it tells us what we have got in this kit also thanks the social organizations and volunteers and civil servants who have helped to do this at the end it says wish you and your family good health uh, the anti-epidemic team. Well, thank you, the anti-epidemic team. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Now, what have we got here? So my eyes are drawn to this. Now, what is this? This is Lianhua Qinghuan Jiaonan. Hua, I know, means flower. Qing. Hi, Mr. O. Oh, this is Miss Zhang. Let me help you with that. You pronounce it Lianhua Qinghuan Jiaonan. Lian is Lian Qiao, which is a kind of dried fruit, and Hua is Jin Yin Hua, a kind of flower. Together, they are two of the 50 basic herbs in traditional Chinese medicine. Qing Wen is its function, it removes heat from your body. Jiao Nang just means capsule. Four capsules per, four capsules per time, three times a day. This product is not suitable for long-term use or should be used in accordance with a doctor's or a Chinese medicine practitioner's instruction. So there we are. So I'm not going to take this until I have consulted my doctor. And as you guys know very well, you must not ever take any medicine without having a grown-up with you supervising you. So I'm not going to touch this. It seems to be full of herbs. We have got a whole bunch of these. These are lateral flow method, uh, 2019 NCOV, I guess that means COVID-19 antigen tests. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot in here. Between 15 and 20. So that's pretty good. Um, now I haven't taken a, I have, I've taken lots of COVID tests. Um, fortunately so far, touch wood they have all come back negative. I am going to go out later today to do a little bit of shopping. Um, so I think that it would be quite sensible for me to do a COVID test now. And um, I hope it's not weird, but I thought I would show you how it works just in case you have to do one and you feel a little bit worried about doing it. Um, so it really doesn't hurt or anything. So let's have a go. So in here we have got a sealed pouch and in there is the, the test. Uh, these are the instructions. Now, of course, you will be doing this with a grown-up. You won't be doing this by yourself. You can take out the test cassette from the foil pouch and lay it flat, which is this. Yoink. Oops, okay. 
So this is uh, a desiccant uh, gel patch, so this, this keeps things dry. Uh, this is nasty stuff, so we need to put it back in there. It looks like sweets, it's not. You must not put this near your mouth. This is the test. So basically how it works is you put a little drop in here and then it fills up here. Um, if you are negative, it shows one line and if you're positive, it shows two. So let's hope that it will be uh, negative for you and for me. Uh, next, remove swab from container, being careful not to touch the soft end, which is the absorbent tip. Now, I can easily see that the soft end is this end and the opening is on this end, so that's what I'm going to use. Da, 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 da. Carefully insert the entire absorbent tip of the swab into your nostrils. <laughs> Firmly sample the nasal wall by rotating the swab in a circular path five times against the nasal wall. So basically, like picking your nose. Uh, slowly remove swab from the nostril. This step should take approximately 15 seconds, ensuring to collect mucus and cells. <laughs> Repeat the above sampling in the other nostril with the same swap. Ah, that's like using the same finger. But that's what it says, so that's what we do. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be careful not to touch the, the soft end. Here we go. Okay, so it goes in. It's not too bad. That's two, <laughs> three. Wow, kids, YouTube, <laughs> four. Five, okay, and take it out slowly. Other nostril. Oh, it's cold and wet, but you gotta try and get a good sample. It doesn't hurt at all. In fact, it kind of tickles, because it doesn't go in all that far. You might have seen on the TV, they have to stick it in really far, but um, not this one, thankfully. Next step. I have to put the swab into the extraction buffer tube and immerse the entire tip of the swab in the extraction buffer. Rotate about 10 times and squeeze the absorbent tip. Let it stand for a minute. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, once I've done that, then I give it a good squeeze. Uh, I'm going to put the top on and let it stand for a minute. All right, that's one minute. So it says lay the cassette flat and add four drops of processed specimen into the sample well. Wait for 15 minutes and read the results. Do not read the results after 20 minutes. All right, fine. So this is kind of cool. This is why this is clever. So you, you close it by screwing in this one and then you open it by screwing, unscrewing the top. I'm gonna do me close up at the same time. Here we go. Okay. So, all right. Here's one. Yoink. Two. Three. And four. And this is this is very clever. Oh wow! You can see it happening already. So the um your sample or my sample has gone in there, and then it's because it's it's like absorbing, you know, like sort of tissue paper. It absorbs it and it runs all the way up into the testing area. And it should show me pretty quick uh, what my result is. Yeah, so C means negative. T means it didn't work. Um, but C and T together means that it's positive. So it's already quite easy to see that I that my test has only got one line, which is what I expected. I've been very careful with my social distance. I've been staying in as much as possible, taking lots of tests, and I am three times vaccinated, so that's not too surprising, but I am gonna wait for the full 15 minutes before I officially check. All right, it has been uh, 15 minutes, and I can see that I am well and truly negative. So what I will do now is um, put this away into this container, and then I will chuck this in the bin and give my hands another sanitizing um, just to make sure that everything is clean and nice and then I will come back and talk about the last thing from the bag. All right, so the last thing that we have got from the Hong Kong government um, is some masks. Now we've had various masks um, over time. Um, you know what, let's do it. Let's do Mr. O uh, rates 
government masks. Here we go. All right, so uh, this is the um, this is the first government mask that I got. Um, it's had pretty good use. Um, it's got the little extra bit inside and copper and bits and pieces in it. Um, the elastic is now completely dried out uh, because it really has been quite a few years since using it. Um, this one's kind of nice, but it's a bit kind of warm. You remember these ones? And if we're honest, they look a little bit like a bikini. Not crazy about that one, but um, it was nice that everyone had the same one. After that, we, we started getting these ones in the, in the green packets and quite a lot of these. I actually quite like these ones, um, partly because they're sort of relatively cheap and there's a lot of them. Um, also because they work quite nicely with my, with my nose, my glasses situation. As you can see, I'm talking and not getting too steamy. So um, I think these ones are not too bad. But here are the new ones. These are very fancy looking. So I will just take up one. The rest I will keep somewhere nice and clean and dry. As I said, I'm gonna pop out to the shops. So I will need a mask. So I will wear this one. Now I have a little bit of a problem with masks. Sometimes they're a bit small. So let's try this one out. Um, looks pretty good. I like the 3D aspect of it. I'm worried that the ears might be a bit tight. Ooh, yeah, a little bit on the small side for me, but maybe that's because I've got a giant nose and giant ears. Wow, these are pretty, oh, not too bad. A little bit of glass is steaming at the side there, but uh, not too bad at all. And you can see that I'm getting a good seal because it's really, it's moving in when I breathe in. So you can see that I'm not sucking in air from around the sides, it's actually coming through the mask um, as it's supposed to. So. Nice masks. Thank you very much, Hong Kong government, for sending these nice, useful things. So as I said, I'm going to go out to the shops now, um, and I think I might reuse the plastic bag, because uh, it's always good to reuse things. It's a form of recycling. So let me just get that. Wait a minute. There's something in here. Mr. O would like you to know that the Hong Kong government is not really providing cheese flavoured instant noodles to the members of the public as part of their anti-epidemic kit. This was just a joke. Also, please do not go through these bags without a grown-up. Please do not do anything to do with tests or masks or medicine without having a grown-up with you. Thank you very much.